Hi, my name is Michael Bernstein. And this is my documentary about teachers. When I grow up, I want to be a teacher. And I want to take you on a journey to see if I have what it takes to be a teacher. To do so, I must interview teachers and administration people. So a teacher is somebody who ought to inspire people of whatever age the teaching is to be curious. First and foremost is to teach, right? to have kids learn whatever material it is that they need them to learn. Um, and so on a very basic level is just getting a kid from point A to point B. For me, it's always been a mentor and leadership role. The primary purpose is making sure that young people can assimilate into the culture, the yeah. dominant culture. There are great teachers that connect with more kids than not. The worst thing you can do is, is be fake, because you guys see right through it, and then you, it un erodes whatever trust you're trying to establish. The job of a teacher, I guess, to like, um, to like create an environment where learning can take place. Some of the most exhilarating moments of my life, the most exciting, the most energized, have been in classrooms. I can't imagine, you know, being in a job where I didn't like going every single day. And I taught two years in a public school. I was ready to be there for however long I needed to be there. Like, it was fine. It was, you know, you start to develop skills and develop ways to get what you need for your kids, regardless of the conditions. You know what I mean? Totally. Like, I had a um, teacher in grad school who, at UCSB, and he taught, like, 12 classes a quarter, <laughs> and people used to make fun of him, and one time he's like, he's like, teaching is like heroin for me. He's like, it's that addictive, and I think it is. Like, I couldn't imagine not teaching, but, like, when I'm away from it for a couple of weeks, I totally miss it. The first time I walked into a high school class, it was, it was this moment of, like, oh, I understand what's going on here. It was just this sense that I understood this, whatever this was, that was it. Kids are looking up to you from the time they see you at the beginning of the day till the end of the day. Um, and it may not be the same kid, but somebody's always paying attention. Um, and I think as you get older, you realize that um, kids are paying a lot more attention than you ever thought. But patience, you know, somebody somebody who's patient and willing to, to meet the kids where they are, right? So not expecting them to do things that they can't or aren't ready to do and being frustrated when they Having like, you know, so always kind of turning the lens inward. That kind of person usually is very successful. Most of the cliches are more true than I ever thought. I remember when I began, people say things and I don't know, like, eh, okay. I guess that sounds quaint, um, but then it turns out to be true. And then when it touches your life, someone saying that was maybe going to happen, and then when it does, it means more than, than you can imagine. You know what I mean? It's just become like a normal part of my life, so like, who I am sort of in the classroom is like the same person I am at home. There's less of that like, yeah. boundary than there used to be. I taught for five years and was making no money. You know, meanwhile, all my friends around me working ridiculous, you know, the, the, the ones that frustrated me were the kids who went on to like consulting firms. So it's like, okay, so these guys get paid to like go into a business to tell them what to do. And they were getting paid twice as much money. Well, I was doing that for, if we're going to look at it in those terms, I had 180 clients and they had three. And I'm telling every one of those kids, like, you on a daily basis, move to move, what it is that you have to do. While kind of, so on a, on a micro level doing that, and on a macro level getting a class to go in this direction because I'm managing not only my consulting but I'm managing you know so that the, the idea that like I have the skills that in a business world translates into a six-figure job this voice said well you know I could teach high school and I actually looked around there was nobody there but me I and mean, I knew there was nobody there but me but I actually looked around it was such a like a loud like teach high school and I thought that is so weird and then I like, high school and what a crazy idea and then I just maybe I could teach high school I, I probably 
wow, what, I wonder if I could teach high school. Maybe I could teach high school. There it is. I feel very good about what I do. I feel that I'm having an impact on the world, albeit, you know, small. And, and I love it. You know what I mean? I have yeah. a great job. You, I used to be scared of it. Yeah. But you, get, you, have, you either get over it real quick, right? Or you quit. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> you're going you're gonna to be in front of people all day, every day. You know, I think that every year I'm shocked at who connects with who. Teacher-wise, you know, I, sometimes I'm like, ow, you know, I um, never saw you two, you know, kind of fostering their relationship. I gravitated to high school because it allows me to speak um, on, a, you know, an equal level, equal footing, and so it's easier for me. You know, that sincerity piece, like, yeah. means something to me. So when you're talking with little kids, you have to change yourself or at least kind of, you know, learn how to talk and little kids speak to an extent. But I have a feeling, my gut right now, is that the earlier you get involved, the more impact you have. Like, when I'm away from it for a couple of weeks, I totally miss it. Like, I need to be back. I'm like, I need the sarcasm, I need the discipline issues, I need all of that. I need everything, all the good and all the craziness of it. There's something about the friction, mm -hmm. like, that, that, you get, that you get used to, and like, um, and when it's, like, away, like, when you, we're not part of that anymore or something, it's like, it, life just gets too quiet or something, yeah. you know? Yeah. Don't feel challenged. Um, you know, when you're around kids on an everyday basis, you really are much more tied into, I think, much more tied into what's going on currently in, in teenagers' lives. You know, you, once you get to be an adult, you're worried about your kids and your finances and your house and those kind of things. You know, when you're around kids on an everyday basis, you hear music, you hear art, you hear fashion, you hear things that... Most adults aren't, they just don't get involved in that because they aren't in that level anymore. Um, flexible, patient, intelligent, so like, con like you have to have a, a solid command of the content, knowledge of your, of your discipline. Um, Hardworking, so professional, so like, you know, shows up when you're supposed to you know, do your work without being prompted. You gotta be a good colleague, right? So you have to be aware that you're in a community and that, you know, have to be respectful of everybody up and down. Um, so th those are the primary qualities. But they say like once you're five years in, like you're in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I guess um, I just passed that one. I don't know. So you know, beginning teacher stuff is is just hard because you're trying to find out who you are in front of all these people. I love my job. I mean, I go home, I do my job. I really enjoy it. Really enjoy the kids.